Are you looking to apply to schools with BSMD programs? We wanted to let you know that you can calculate your chances of admission at schools that offer BSMD opportunities with your free CollegeVine account. Start by completing your chanting profile with information such as your GPA, test scores, and extracurricular activities. From there, you can use CollegeVine's hub tool to see your chances and information about different schools, such as cost, majors, and more. Visit the link in the description below to sign up and see your chances today. So ideally, a BSMD applicant, in terms of academics, will have a strong overall GPA, high science GPA. That's important. Uh, medicines has this fundamental kind of building block of science. So a lot of admissions readers and medical school officers would want to know if a student's successful in the sciences. A strong SAT or ACT score, uh, there's kind of a blip in this PowerPoint, I would say standardized test score. High SAT2 scores on science and math sections. This is actually kind of important. So subject tests allow for kind of specialization and showing knowledge in certain fields, whether it be chemistry, math two, biology, physics, or something. And medical schools do care about this. It actually helps inform them on how well the student is performing in certain subjects. Also, some applications will actually require SAT2 subject tests, so you want to make sure you take them. In terms of extracurriculars, you want strong overall accomplishments, specific strong STEM activities, again, hinting at the sciences that are important here, patient care experiences, community engagement, and in light of recent events, uh, a commitment to social justice causes. Right? Um, and for the most part, a lot of these are necessary. In fact, you wanna have almost every one of these in your application to make it a very complete and overall holistic application, especially for BSMB programs. In terms of academic alignment, coursework should include both class selection and ERDS grade in those courses. So a student aiming for a BSMB program should try to take and perform well in classes like biology, chemistry, physics, and math. Standardized tests include SAT subject tests and AP exams. Consider taking SAT subject tests in biology, chemistry, math too, and AP coursework in AP bio, chemistry, physics, psychology. In terms of GPA targets, Ideally, students will have an overall unweighted GPA target of 3.75 or greater. And the higher, the better, especially for STEM programs, uh, especially in STEM classes, sorry. And so the exact target depends on the context of the course load. A 3.7 with 10 AP classes is definitely better than 3.85 with two AP classes. It should also be noted that in terms of GPA, these are usually the minimum for students aiming for the less selective BSMB programs they will only increase with more competitive programs. So on the left-hand side, we see the GPAs. Ideally, these would be for those less selective programs and will only increase in power and expectation for the more selective programs. In terms of class rank, if you're in the top 10% of your class, you ideally come from a competitive public high school, multiple Ivy segments per year, a magnet school or a top tier private school. If you're in the top 5%, ideally you come from a typical public high school in the suburban area or a parochial and or religious high school. If you're valedictorian, top 1%, probably from a small rural high school or an urban public high school. In terms of course rigor, we aim to see um, the course rigor increasing year by year. So freshman year, you might start with mostly honors classes, sophomore year, mix of honors and AP. Then by junior and senior year, maybe you're taking more AP classes. Definitely aim to take the most challenging course load if allowed by your school. Focus on STEM courses that show interest in applying science to the world. And again, that's very important because medical programs care about you being passionate about sciences and applying science to a lot of things that you do in the world. It's also, oh, oops. It's also important to note the more STEM courses of higher level you have, the better. So it's not just AP classes overall, Ideally, they'd be concentrated in the STEM field. In terms of SAT targets, an excellent would be a 1570 to 1600, competitive 1520 to 1560, and a minimum of 1520 or plus. If you don't have a 1520 or plus on the SAT, gaining admissions to BSN programs will be tough. In terms of ACT targets, uh, excellent would be 35 to 36, and a minimum range is 32 grade. If you don't have a 32 plus in the ACT, gaining admission to BSMB programs, again, would be tough. 
And ideally, you would have a higher subscore on the science section. SAT targets, try to take at least three exams. So schools will typically only consider at most three total tests. Oh, whoops. The best practice to take biology, chemistry, math two, and one of your choice. Typically, math two is actually the required exam. Some programs, namely BU, might actually mandate you to take a third test in the language. And so oftentimes that happens because a school, undergrad school, actually has a language requirement. In order to be an accelerated student, you might have to meet those language requirements in the first place. Oops. All right, let's talk about the extracurricular background of these high school students. So in terms of accomplishments, you wanna aim for high leadership, a lot of awards and tangible accomplishments. You also wanna be unique in your activities. So it matters how common the activity is and how defined the path is to the accomplishments. How uncommon is it for high school students to be doing the things you are today? You also wanna make sure you have a community focus. You wanna to emphasize touching the lives of others and striving for social solutions. It's definitely important to note that BSNU programs look for high school, high school success, self-initiative, um, self-drive, and commitment to their craft, right? So you wanna make sure you can have all these thematic ideas covered in your application as a whole. So some of the extracurriculars to aim for. The most important thing is to show initiative and drive, especially in medicine. Gaining admissions to top programs is essentially like applying to medical school. So you wanna make sure your application is structured in such a way that you seem like a medical school applicant. And that's really, really hard to do as a high schooler, right? So these are some of the things to keep in mind, especially when applying. You wanna to volunteer to help the community, show leadership engagement with others. You wanna volunteer at the hospital and see if you can gain hands-on opportunities with patients and staff. You wanna ideal shadow a physician in a practice or hospital, see if you can gain insight into the life you're applying to lead. Conduct a research project, show that you actively pursue subjects that interest you individually or through an organization. Pursue in non-science activities that make you stand out. So we're gonna break down each of these individually. So volunteering to help in the community. There's value added if you can gain experiences that show your leadership potential. You can also engage in activities that serve others, help the less fortunate, and advocate for social justice. In terms of time commitment, you wanna to aim to three to five hours per week and have participated for more than 2.5 years. We say 2.5 years, and in the COVID world, all these numbers are changing dramatically. Ideally to show that you have a demonstrated interest in doing these things, and you're not kind of superficially doing it just for the resume. Again, because of COVID, a lot of these things are changing. Um, in fact, this presentation was made in the midst of COVID as everything was super dynamic and changing, right? So unfortunately, this is the first year that BSMD programs are taking place in a context of a global pandemic and a global pandemic that affects students and students' involvement in the outside community and world and test taking. So we can anticipate that a lot of these uh, metrics will change but for the most part, try to strive to be close to this as possible. Try to pretend like nothing happened. I know that's hard to do, but try to, yeah, just try to meet the metrics that we're setting out today. And it'll just be kind of your high bar for success and an ideal that you guys can try to meet. When looking at volunteer in the hospital, there's value added if you can gain experiences that you can share in an essay or an interview, and this is very important, especially when it comes to interview time for these BSMU programs, which we'll talk about. And you can dedicate time and meet new people. This will allow you to solidify your passion for medicine. In terms of time commitment, try to aim for three to five hours per week and a participation of greater than 2.5 years. Looking at shadowing a physician, there's value added if you can shadow a non-family member and someone in the field that aligns with their interests we say non-family member, 
typically because admissions officers might see a family member as a less kind of learning experience. So if you maybe went with your dad, uh, your parent uh, or guardian to a clinic and shadow them for a day or two, you might not be experiences the same things in the same kind of way, maybe more delicacy than you would with an external party, right? Um, yeah. So you can gain experiences that you can share in a second interview through physician shadowing. And again, these are powerful narratives to share as well. In terms of equipment, three to five hours per week. And here the participation kind of varies. It's actually greater than one, one week. So you don't have to do it for years and years. It's kind of just an event that happens in your life that you gain experiences from actively and then kind of walk away from. Ideally, it's best if two to three physicians across different specialties are um, shadowed. When looking at conducting research, you can find a project that matches your interest in medicine, or you can work with an organization and publish. And it really helps if you gain a letter of recommendation from your principal investigator for your amazement work. And this can really speak volumes about you as a sciencer and a student, right? So a lot of Ivy League schools appreciate research and a lot of BSME schools will appreciate research if aligned with the field of science, right? So things in medicine or public health related things. Um, in terms of commitment, try to aim for three to five hours per week and a participation of greater than one week. When talking about pursuing science and non-science activities, there's value added if you show leadership potential in these activities, you demonstrate capacity to be creative, problem solving, and intellectual, as well as personable. Now, we list these characteristics specifically because doctors at the end of the day have to have all of these things, right? They have to be creative. They have to be problem solving, intellectual, and personable, right? So it's better to kind of share those items in an application to really convince a medical school committee that you might be the right applicant. You also wanna gauge the activity enough that it shows your passion. So in terms of commitment, it's actually a little more. So three to 10 hours per week, greater than three years of participation and preferably showing commitment to the craft or subject. Now, all of this will be qualified. I know I've said like three to five hours per week, three to 10 hours per week. Yes, COVID has kind of made an impact on that. And I talked about that, but I would also say this is pretty flexible. Right. So if you haven't done three to five hours week greater than two or five years, not the end of the world, make sure you've kind of made up for that in some other part of your application. Right. But again, these are just good benchmarks to try to meet. And if you can't, make sure it's kind of compensated in another part of your application. So if you looked at an example of a competitive BSNB applicant, academic wise is 3.9 out of four, seven AP courses, 1580 SAT, and three subject tests with high scores. And here the student took math too, because typically that actually is a application requirement for a lot of BSMB programs. Extracurricular wise, the student kind of checks the boxes, captain of science Olympiad, did research at a cancer center, hospital volunteer, physician shadowing, vice president of a Red Cross club, section leader for marching band, and a band saxophones. Right? So he clearly has a passion for musicality and he pursues that but he also shows a demonstrated passion in medicine as well as the sciences. 